Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to create this ink stamp text effect in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing we do is, to, is we're creating a new document. You can see all the settings and you can just copy them. And then obviously we type our text with the type tool. I'm just going to make it bigger. Yep, like that. And then we're going to duplicate this text layer twice by pressing Command J. And then we turn up the top layer and the bottom one. Uh, I don't mean the background layer, I mean. Uh, our initial text layer and we're gonna convert to this middle layer to smart object by clicking the right click and the next thing we're gonna do but actually before going to the next step I want you to create a PSD file because um, we're gonna need a displacement map so we're just going to head to Unsplash, that's the easiest way, to unsplash.com and we're going to search for any grunge texture, just grunge texture put into your search bar and choose any of these, for example this one. We're going to download it, for example, here, uh, show it in Finder, then I'm going to open it in Adobe Photoshop, just waiting for a little bit, and then we're going to save it as a PSD file, save as, it's any folder that you want, it doesn't matter format Photoshop and we're gonna name it as grunge texture save and close it so yeah we prepared for the next step and the next step is filter distort displace um, here we're gonna put 9 and 9 okay and then um, we need to choose the displacement map and in the folder where you saved it you will see this grunge texture open and that's how we just did the displacement map you can see the result um, the next thing we're going to do is to convert the top layer into smart object uh, we're going to turn on the top layer and turn off the one below it. And also we're going to convert it to smart object. Then we're going to open the layer style panel just by clicking twice at this area. And we're going to choose the inner glow section and open it and the parameters we need is 95 53 28 51 70 and 0 yeah just copy exactly the same parameters uh, if the size of the document is the same it should work fine okay the next thing is we gonna rasterize this layer. Not just rasterize layer, we're going to rasterize layer style. Okay. We're going to filter, pixelate, mesotint, and we're choosing green dots. Press OK. And almost the last step that we're going to do is going to filter, filter gallery. 
and we're going to choose the stamp filter and here are the parameters two and one but obviously you can adjust it to your particular situation i don't know maybe you're using a different font and it works differently you can play with that and then we're gonna turn on the second layer which is under uh, under this one and we're not gonna activate it we just turn it on so they're both visible and the top layer we are changing the layer mode from normal to screen and here we are here's the result and that's it guys that's all i wanted to show you today i hope you learned something and uh, see you next time